Yeah, oh, we obviously still got a chance mathematically, but yeah, it's obviously not, a, not an ideal position to be in. I think, you know, probably yeah, just dis disappointing all round tonight. We probably didn't start well with the bat and then probably similar with the ball. We just didn't quite um, nail it uh, early on. So, yeah, obviously a tough night for us. You're in with a chance after those two early wickets. What was, what was the feeling like out there? Yeah, I think obviously it's always nice to get a couple of early wickets, but we knew it was a good batting strip. We knew we were well short of where we wanted to be. Um, the early wickets helped, uh, but I think it, yeah, it showed that uh, the batting that you could do and the damage you could do on that wicket, um, once a couple of blokes got in, uh, yeah, that we were just well off uh, where we needed to be. Hey, how's your rhythm going? You know, you've been in and out of the test squad playing red ball, white ball, cricket. How's, how's your rhythm? Yeah, well, I haven't played a lot of cricket, so <laughs> not great, but it's, um, yeah, obviously it's been good to be around the Australian setup, and then, yeah, it's been, yeah, I think I've played, yeah, about to my seventh game. Um, in, in white ball in about uh, two months, so there's not, not a lot of cricket to be, being played. So it's, it is hard to sort of fly in and play games, but like that's no excuse for yeah, obviously. But um, yeah, it's not 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 the greatest uh, not the greatest preparation over the last few weeks. And how's it going with the Test squad? Are you um, helping out the younger players in the squad? And you know, Lang has talked about your leadership. How do you see your role? Yeah, obviously it's disappointing to miss out last week, but yeah, like I'm just doing all I can. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm obviously bowling uh, with uh, plenty of with the red ball, just uh, and just not in games at the moment. So yeah, that's feeling good if I got the opportunity down in um, in Canberra. But yeah, it's probably going to be this, the same eleven. So I'll, mi I'll probably miss out there. But um, yeah, feeling good. The, the group's been great, and I think it was a good uh, week there last week to get that win and you know just get a, get confidence back and just get a bit of buzz around the boys. And um, yeah, it was very exciting and. Um, see a few, uh, a couple of young blokes that, uh, debut and, and, and do well. So it's uh, yeah, obviously going to be another exciting lead into this second test and hopefully yeah, another good result at the end of the day. So you're heading down to Canberra tomorrow? Yeah, fly down tomorrow morning and join the boys. Um, so yeah, we'll just prepare um, for that test match, see what happens and then if not, um, yeah, join back up with the strikers for the, um, the last two games. How frustrating is it not getting a lot of game time at the moment, mate? Because like, I'm sure you want to be pushing for England where you did very well during... Um Last year, how frustrating is it at the moment? Uh, that's not too bad. There's still, yeah, there's still four shield games to go on, and I go over to England and play county cricket for two months, three months before the um, for, for full Ashes anyway. So, I think my record over there speaks for itself. I'm not too worried about my, the preparation for that. Um, I'll be fine there. But it's just, yeah, it's just tough at the moment, just trying to get some game time and flying in and out. Um, yeah, obviously, specifically for the, uh, us, the strikers, yeah, the, the games haven't matched up well with the test matches. So that's been partly the, the hardest part, that a lot of our games have been the day before or day one of the test match. So it has been tough. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it is always nice to come back, play these games, and, yeah, just get a, a little bit of cricket under my belt. Mate, Alex Carey, it's his fourth run out of the <laughs> BBL. Mate. What's going on? Mate, it's devastating, isn't it? Yeah, it's obviously, yeah, him and him and Weathers have a little issue at the moment, which which they know, they, and they're trying to work on it, but it's a, it's a hard one. It's, you know, you know that you're trying to you're trying to set a good total and get a good start um, and try and put pressure on the fielders, and it's probably cost them a little bit as well. So, you know, they'll, they'll work on it. I think it's it's part of the game. There is always a lot more runouts in T20. We know that. I think yeah, the whole competition knows that. So it's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but, yeah, like, like I said, the boys, the boys would want to spend a, bit, a little bit more time out there and, you know, get, get some runs on the board. So, yeah, three games to go and, you know, some, a, lot, a lot of pressure on us to try and get some good results. So we'll do all we can to get those results and, yeah, see where we can end up at the end. Confidence is such a funny thing. It can come and go like that. Is he a little bit down on confidence at the moment, mate? Mate, it's T20. I think you can, you can have it one game and you can go there the next and, you know, and, and, and it disappears. So I don't think that's – it's diff different in longer form games, but in T20, like, it can be up and down. That's the exciting thing about it. You can't really – there's not a lot of tactics um, behind it. It's just a bit of luck at times. And I think, yeah, they're out of luck at the moment. But, you know, like I said, three games to go. Hopefully they can entertain, put on a show in these next couple of uh, matches and, you know, he'll be ready to go leading into that one-day series that uh, he, he's got coming up.